Hey there guys and welcome back to Ben 10 Alien Force Velgax Attacks. I haven't done one of these in a while. So I figured do one of those again instead of doing another infamous or no more heroes. Probably do those tomorrow anyway. So we're still on Encephalonus 4 Brainstorm's home planet beating up stuff. And uh, let's see, I think we still have to do some climbing. So it's time for Spider Monkey. Well, now I know why they call these things monkey bars. Because they're meant for spider monkey. Ah, uh, lame joke. Not my best one, I must admit. Okay, uh... Where do we go from here? Okay, I see there's a web jump thing there. Unfortunately, I did not know that yet, so we have to do the entire freaking thing over. So here we go, spider monkey. Beat the crap out of that turret. And still that wacky cyber squid thing. Which for some reason is immune to my web attack. Which annoys me because I like the web attack. It's useful, it stuns enemies. Gives me the time to run away or beat the crap out of them. Because sometimes you just don't feel like... F oh crap. Sometimes you just don't feel like fighting enemies and just wanna... Like keep him away so that you can do stuff but yay we made it all right let's see what's waiting what pretty much an exact repeat of the previous freaking platform except there's now two turrets man the designers got lazy with this game that freaking spider shot doesn't work and that pisses me off all righty more electrified monkey bars Oh man, someone should get this fixed. I mean, aren't the inhabitants of this place supposed to be super intelligent and all? Then why the hell is there broken stuff all over the place? Come on, grab the pipe and go down. Uh huh. Uh, where to now? Crap. I hate having to take leaps of faith like that. I mean, it, m most of the time it doesn't really work out. So, where are we now? Oh, you have gotta be shitting me! Put me back to the platform with one turret? Oh, that's just mean-spirited, man. And that's just mean, they should've had a checkpoint whenever it got to that new platform. Damn you, game designers! That's sure as hell gonna cost you points when I give this game a review score. It's currently lingering at about a 7.5, maybe somewhere along the likes of that but I, I will definitely dock points for crappy checkpoint placement alrighty then need to get something to drink later on I have a dry throat it's hard to narrate with a dry throat need some coca-cola damn that's good stuff okay uh... oh there's a pipe here how did I fail to see that previously Ah, okay. I better hope there's a checkpoint here, or I will be pissed. And once again, there's turrets. Lots and lots of turrets. But that's not much of a... Aw, crap. Two cyber squids. We need some power for this one. Where's freaking Humongous or when I need him? There we go. Just beat the crap out of him. Shouldn't take that long with Humongous or. I said, shouldn't take long with Humongous or. There we go. Okay then. Aw oh, man, more platforming. Jeez. This level is really getting repetitive. And I didn't like this planet much to begin with. Aw, oh, nuts. No, 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 no. Come on, freaking grab the pipe. When I tell you to freaking spider monkey. Ugh. Oh, what's this here? I guess this is something that needs Humongosaur to crack open. Yep, I'm correct. Well, that went easily. What's this? An energy upgrade. Okay, and what am I supposed to do with that? Oh, well. Let's just... Wait, I can't get out? Oh, okay, just had to jump. Ah, that's how you get up there. But at least now that problem's solved. 
just beat up all the turrets. Again. Aw, oh, man. Three. They're really making it hard on me here. It's time for Goop. Because Goop is awesome, and Goop has long range and can shoot freaking acid. What? Those things are robots. Acid shoot. Pretty, pretty much destroy them. Like, melt right through them. But no. Well, at least I can beat him up without them really getting to me. Come on, Goop. There we go. Okay, time for more monkeying on the monkey bars. I mean, damn, how much more of these are we gonna get? Uh, go down. Nope, don't go down. What's the point of having that platform there? If there's nothing to go down there for anyway, then what's the point? Okay. Oh, crap. Uh... Ah, here are some pipes. It's hard to make out on my little screen in Studio 12 because it's kind of small and dark and stuff, but at least no more monkey bars. Let's see, cannon bolts. Get in there and roll up that ramp thing. Or whatever it is. Oh. Okay, I guess we'll need to uh, work the computer first. Where's a brainstorm? There we go. Okay, let's... Oh, another one of these. Lame. Yeah, move the yellow to yellow. Orange to orange. Blue to blue. Purple or pinkish. I'm gonna say that's purple. There we go. A three-year-old could do that puzzle. You know what, it's another one of them freaking cable cars. Oh man, I don't like those. They take way too long. But yeah, cannon bolts. Roll them up. Let's see what that does. Yeah. Ah, crap. Come on. Up, there we go. And let's roll. Oh, hey, they have like these glass tubes to roll through. Avoid those valves. They look like they hurt this time, and you'll need Valves? What valves? Oh, those. What, it's freaking cannonball, you can just smash right through them. But yeah, in this part you pretty much have to mash the button that appears on screen to, I guess, open the valves or something. Even though I have no clue how cannonball does that when he's rolling like that. Hell, I don't even know how the hell he can see where he's going. I mean, his eyes are on the inside of his shell now, obviously, so... I've always wondered that, like, how does he know where he's going? You'd figure he'd just be rolling around and crashing into shit because he doesn't know which way he's up or down. But apparently he can see perfectly where he's rolling. So that's convenient. Uh -huh. Okay, that wasn't that hard. Hmm. Let's go with Goop, because I like him. And he can double jump. Now, are there any more bad guys for me to beat up? Yep, figures. Acid hose, because that pretty much kills a whole bunch of them. Oh crap, I need to be more careful. The turrets are tearing me apart. Yikes. Okay, first I'm just gonna beat the hell out of the turrets. That's probably gonna give me a whole lot more room to work with without constantly getting shot at. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is not good. Make a run for it, Goop. They need health. Right over there. Come on, come on. Yes. Yes. Okay, we've got some breathing space again. Just... Oh, great. One of them grunts, but now he's dead. So, no problems there. Be sure to gather up all the yellow experience orbs so that we can unlock a new combo move. Earthquake, Ice Storm, or Super Ball. We'll go with freaking Ice Storm. Because it sounds cool. I mean, Super Ball just sounds lame. And Cannonbolt's pretty lame alien anyway because he can't really do anything other than rolling up and rolling into stuff. 
But yeah, that's pretty much the case with all the, uh... Like, all the aliens from the original series. Like, you had, uh, Heat Blast, who could pretty much only shoot fire. And, uh... You have Forearms, who was pretty much only strong. And, uh... Like, Upgrade, who could, like, only merge with machines or something. They pretty much all only had, like, one power, and... Like, all the Alien Force aliens have multiple, like, you have Humongosaur, he, he's super strong, like, forearms, and he can grow. Like, Swamp Fire, he can shoot fire, like, Heat Blast, and control plants and regenerate and stuff. So... Yeah, let's do the Ben Dance. Now oh, we're already there. Okay, what's this place? Oh, crap. Yeah, oh, crab, you see, because we're turning into a crab. Nah. Lame pun. I really need to come up with some better jokes. This game really doesn't lend itself well to that's what she said jokes, unfortunately, because I like those. Eh. Uh, oh well, just get some health back and see where with the... Okay, there's a little... Pathway up to the top. I don't know why, but this place really does really, like, remind me of Cloud City from Empire Strikes Back. This kind of looks like the place where, like, Luke and Vader were fighting in that movie. Let's see, can we actually jump over this with Brainstorm? Let's give it a try. Sweet. Brainstorm's not completely useless at platforming. Oh, nuts. Spider Monkey segment, I freaking hate those. Why does this planet rely on Spider Monkey so much? Jump, jump, and web sling. Aw, oh, man. Let's see, do I want to go left or right? Mm, we'll go left. Oh, hey, another energy upgrade. Guess that's useful. Can we make it to that one? Yes. Ah, crap. <sighs> This game's platforming really is not all that well thought out. Oh, why the hell put us back here? I swear this game has the worst checkpoint placement I've ever seen. Let's give Big Chill a try. We haven't used him in a while. And Frost Breath allows for easy dealing with these enemies. And now we can just beat the crap out of that final guy. Alright, that went pretty well. Maybe you should use Big Chill more often when fighting, but... Lots of a big group of bad guys. You can just freeze them all and then pound them to pieces. And let's just turn into Spider Monkey already because we'll already know that we'll be needing him later on. And also he can run pretty fast so we'll get there faster, waste less time on it. Alright then, take two. I really hope I don't fail again this time because I don't want to have to go here again. Jump there, web sling. Alright, and jump, and jump, and jump, and jump. Well, turns out that wasn't that hard. Okay, so now what? What do we have in here? Oh, crap. This calls for Brainstorm, although I don't really know why, and Humongosaur would probably be a better choice to deal with these guys, or Big Chill, perhaps. But we'll go with Brainstorm anyway. Because I like him and crap, I'm almost dead again. No, 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 no. Need help. Thank you. No, man, I'm so getting the crap beat out of me. Turret's gone. Ah! Screw that. Please don't put me... Okay, at least we don't have to do the freaking spider monkey jumping again. So this time we'll bring Humongosaur in advance. Because we know we'll need to beat up a lot of enemies. And first, the freaking turret, because I hate that one. And then we'll go berserk and smash the place up. Shoulder charge is straight through that freaking grunt and a new one freaking spawns. Yep, just pound them all to bits and they keep freaking respawning. Well, at least none of them are really getting any hits in on me. So, give me my health back. 
Oh what, you think you can punch me? I'm bigger than you. It's not smart to pick on someone who's larger than you. Just look at that. Like bully in Australia like a few weeks ago. Like bully, this kid was way bigger than he was and the kid picked him up and pretty much slammed him into the ground and the thing broke both his legs or something. Saw that video and loved it. That was so epic. That should have been on Ray William Johnson. Okay, yes, we beat all the enemies and activated some kind of wind turbines. So in the next part of Ben 10 Alien Force Velgang's attacks, I guess we'll need a whole lot of big chill for platforming. So, turn into him already, and thanks for watching, and bye-bye.